Hey guys, welcome to the Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to try one of these Hormel Square Table Meals. This one is the meatloaf with tomato sauce. It is 21 grams of protein. It's premium beef and pork. Um, caramel colors added, whatever. Um, this was bought at Walmart. It was $6.84. It is 15 ounces or 424 gram meal right there. Um, it's bought in the refrigerated section at Walmart. So there you go. Uh, nutritional information, so there are three servings in the container for five ounces or 140 grams, that's 220 calories. You can eat the whole meatloaf for 670 calories. And there's the other info for you. So how do we make this? Let's see. There's some ideas of what you can do with it. So I only see microwave directions out here, don't see anything else. So we're going to remove the cardboard sleeve um, and place the tray in the microwave. Do not pierce or vent film. Heat on high for three to four minutes or until hot. Self-bending film expands, uh, forming a bubble. That's fine. Let it set for two minutes and that's it. So three, I'll probably do three and a half minutes. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, there it is. Just a little meatloaf in, in plastic. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave and I'll be back. All right, so here it is on the microwave. I wanted to show it to you exactly what it looks like. It, you can see it sucked back in once the timers went off. I did let it set for two minutes. I'm gonna pull this plastic back. Let you see what the actual meatloaf looks like. Um, it smells like meatloaf with a uh, with ketchup on it. Is what I always put on ours. That's what it kind of smells like. So um, there it is. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the rest of the plastic off in just a second. But I'm gonna take us over the table and I'll uh, try it out. All right. So I didn't I didn't let it set for too long. I'm literally just gonna try it out because it's already set for two minutes. So it should be cooled off a little bit. I just took the corner piece. It's good and hot. That's a good thing. I'm going to cut right down the middle. The tomato on the top is literally a tomato sauce. It does say tomato sauce. I like the flavor of ketchup. Ketchup adds a little more salt and stuff like that to it. Um, this is good, but you can tell it's just tomato sauce. That's all it is. Flavor-wise, it's okay. Um, it tastes like it needs some like, I don't know, some onion or some other seasonings in there besides just meat and tomato sauce is basically what I'm tasting. I need some onion and garlic and select that in there. It's not bad flavor wise. I think my biggest problem with it is the texture of it is very, very um, fine. Like they've over ground the hamburger, made it really, really tiny, tiny little pieces of ground beef and, um, and pork. And, um, and whatever filler they, you know, usually will, um, meatloaf has some kind of filler like breadcrumbs or something like that. It makes it very mushy filling. So it's not, it's not a chunky kind of meatloaf. It's not a, a, a you know, big pieces of, of ground beef in there and ground pork. It's very fine and, and mushy. Yeah, so honestly, that's my biggest complaint. Flavor needs more spices. Texture needs to be a little chunkier, a little more, you know, ground and not mushed up into powder, basically. Um, I don't know what they use for them. Yeah, it's too small for me to read. I really can't see. Um, I'm guessing they use some kind of breadcrumb or something like that. But anyway, regardless, it's good. It's If you want to eat this for lunch, go for it. Um, it is 670 calories, so just keep that in mind for just the meatloaf. Um, you're more than likely going to have this for a, um, a dish at night for your family um, or yourself at night and have a side dish would be a half of it with some mashed potatoes. I think that would be really good or some green beans or broccoli or french fries or whatever you want for a side item. This would be better with macaroni and cheese for that matter. Um, this would be better like that than just a hunk of, my, of meatloaf. I do think it's okay, but I will add... Um, if I were to eat this whole thing or even half of it, I'd probably add some uh, nature seasoning, something to give it a little more garlic and onion flavor, and maybe um, just squirt a little bit of ketchup on top of it to give it that good ketchupy kind of flavor. Again, a tomato sauce is not bad, but it's pure tomato that doesn't have that ketchupy kind of flavor that I that I personally like. I flipped it in a floor. Um, so I'm going to give this one a three out of five. For me, it's just okay. Um, really, it comes down to more of the texture than anything, and the flavor could be bumped up a little bit, but the texture is really mushy. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.